Hello everybody, I welcome you all to this e-module of CME and today's topic for discussion is going to be algorithm approach for the management of pleural effusion. When I was preparing for this talk, I thought of looking at my last 100 patients of pleural effusion and this is what I gathered. When I looked at my 100 patients, 73 out of them had exudative pleural effusion and transudative pleural effusion was present in 27 out of it. When I looked at the etiology, as one would expect, majority of the patient had tuberculosis, 52 in my series. Pneumonia, CAP and VAP put together were 15, malignancy 4, arthritis rheumatoid in 1. When you look at transudative pleural effusions, I had majority of the patients having left ventricular failure, liver cirrhosis and pulmonary embolisms to next it. I thought of presenting the common case scenarios that you and me would see in our day-to-day -day practice. Look at this case 1. The first patient, 20 years old male patient, non-smoker, non-alcoholic, having no major illness in past, just 3 days history of chest pain, cough which is dry, fever mild for a few weeks with weight loss, XA showing right pleural effusion, all blood tests within normal limits, tapping done, exudative pleural effusion, 4.4 gram proteins, 42 ADA, put on AKT, responded well, standard patient. Look at the case scenario 2. Same age, about 35 years old male patient, again non-addict, non-hypertensive, non-diabetic, had few days of fever with cough, x-ray again showing right-sided pleural effusion, exudative, ADA normal, bacterial cultures negative, responded well to first line antibiotic that is probably amoxicillin clavulanic acid, clinically better, x-ray took some time to resolve. Another case, a 45 years old male patient, unwell for about 3 weeks, x-ray showing right pleural effusion. ADA is about 35, neutrophilic predominance, after 2 weeks of antibiotics, no response, put on AKT, pleural fluid increased, patient more symptomatic with 2 kg of weight loss, after 2 weeks, steroid aided, CT scan shows right pleural effusion with no other findings, after 6 weeks was subjected to thoracoscopy, pleural lesions, ultimately diagnosed as mesothelioma. Last case, 35 years old female, right pleural effusion, exudative pleural fluid, 37 ADA, normal neutrophilic predominant, put on AKT, no response to treatment, after 2 months effusion, persistent, not increasing, CT done, showed rheumatoid lung, patient is put on steroids, patient bed. Like anybody would do, AKT was continued because patient had already completed 2 months of therapy, patient was put on continuation phase treatment and treatment was continued. So, you could see that, almost similar kind of presentation, you could have transudative to exudative pleural effusion, you could have tuberculosis, malignancy. Uh, bacterial infection etc presenting as pleural effusion with that let me tell you pleural